it's okay, baby. Go back to sleep. You're just dreaming. <laughs> then it is a good dream. Go to sleep. What? <laughs> I'm trying to be all sneaky and not wake you up. I still want your cuddles though. I wasn't trying to wake you up. That was like sneak level 1000. I thought you'd be completely out of it by now. You had such a long day and I didn't want to disturb you as you were falling asleep. But shh, close your eyes. You'll be wide awake if you keep talking to me like this. You still have a chance to fall back to sleep yet. You just have to be quick about it. Uh-huh. Hold me close and close your eyes. And you'll wander straight back into dreamland. Am I there too? What was I doing? You're not going to tell me. You can't hide what I did from me. It wouldn't be kissing and telling. <sighs> Fine. Keep your secrets. Mm. Mm. Nothing's wrong. Why would you think that? Am I holding on to you too tightly? I'm sorry, I didn't realise. No, I'm not pulling away. I didn't realise how tightly I'd hold of you. Am I tense? Maybe in my shoulders a little? I really hadn't noticed. I wasn't doing much. You wanted an early night and I was in the mood to read. So I thought that I would read in the living room so that you could sleep with no interruptions from me or the reading lamp. Not to mention you'd want to collapse on top of me like you do. <laughs> Believe it or not, I can't really read like that. <laughs> I'm kidding, baby. Collapse away. I just wasn't sleepy. And reading at this time is always nice. With a little midnight snack. <laughs> of course you can't tell. It was like 30 minutes ago, and of course I brushed my teeth before coming to bed. I had to make sure there was not a shred of evidence left to incriminate me. I don't know what you mean. I may or may not have gone into the fridge for the said late night snack. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny whether there is a cupcake still sat in the fridge. Hmm. I have no memory of seeing it. It's all a bit blurry. <laughs> Babe, what are you doing? You won't be falling back to sleep if you keep going like this. I can see that. I think you've passed the point of no return. It's just a certain look in your eyes. Can I have my hands back now, please? And what if I refuse to give up the information? Wait, there was no information to give up. That wasn't a slip up. 
Now you're just trying to trick me under duress. Fine. Maybe I do remember something about a certain cupcake. But you'll never get it out of me. <laughs> Not even if you collapse on top of me like that. You know I don't mind. I would like the use of my hands back, but I'm quite enjoying this. Hmm. It's like being in the middle of a sandwich. Very cosy. <laughs> what sandwich am I? I should have known better. Seriously, a toasty. I may be your prisoner here, but I don't have to laugh at your jokes. And what do you mean by that? You wouldn't. Babe, don't you? <laughs> no, no, baby. Mm, what? My shoulders still seem tense. No, it's... Not to do with you tickling me. Um... What a random question. Why would you like to know what book I was reading? That is a random question. It was just some book. I don't even remember what it was called. Or what it was about. My memory seems a bit vague this evening. Probably because I'm so sleepy. <sighs> I don't know why you won't let me sleep. <laughs> Alright, Sherlock. I was reading that book of horror stories. Yeah, it's literally called the book of horror. Hmm. I'm not scared. You're scared. I don't know why I read it. It seemed like a good idea at the time. You were fast asleep in here. And it was just me in the living room, curled up on the sofa. And the hour was late. I saw it and it took my fancy. Well, it's a bit random to read a horror book during the day, don't you think? The atmosphere is all wrong. You have to set the mood. And I set the mood too well, it would seem. It's different to when we tell each other horror stories. For one, we don't do it often, which always helps. And two, I'm good if you're with me. Especially with you pancaked on top of me like this. Nothing can get to me at all. No, you're not allowed to move. And hey, why would you want to move from here? You were saying it's your favourite place to be. Have you changed your mind? Okay. Just checking. Hmm. Give me my hands back already. I want to hug you. Mm. Mm. Much better. I'm happy to stay like this all night. I'm not that spooked. Only slightly. I thought I heard something. It took me by surprise while I was reading. It was just a little tapping on the window. I think it was a hailstone. What? No. You don't need to go outside and check for me. But I appreciate the offer. It's okay. We're both safer in bed anyway. What if the ghost gets you when you go outside? No, I can't risk that. 
At least here I can protect you. I could protect us both. Yeah, this is the perfect position to protect us both. Well, you can't knock it. Has anything happened so far? No, it hasn't. So, obviously, what I'm doing works. Oh, it doesn't work like that, huh? <laughs> Since when were you the expert? Go on then, tell me. How does it work then? Ah, uh, okay. So, the evil demons in this city are scared of you and wouldn't dare come to this part of town. Guess Sherlock wasn't the right name for you. No, it wasn't. Go on then, Dresden. <laughs> Protect me the best way you know how. Is that one of the ways? I don't remember that being in the books. Of course, I must have missed that part. No, baby, you can't go outside and check. You have to stay right here. I think I heard something, but I'm pretty sure it was just the rain starting to fall. <laughs> it started and I came in here quite quickly. Hmm, I didn't get scared of the rain. If you were outside by yourself, you would have been spooked too. You may not admit it to me, but you would have. Well, I'm just looking out for you, and trying to keep you safe. Here, in our little sandwich of safety. It's safe for me. <laughs> Any objections? Mm, I don't want to have my back to anything right now. Not the ceiling and not the wall. And no spooning either. You might be behind me, but what if you fall asleep first and I'm still awake? Mm. I really did get spooked. And I just want to hide here underneath you. You can't go check. Because what if it's just a trick to get you out of the room? I am two steps ahead already. So, nobody's allowed in or out. And not to mention, I'm really nice and warm now. If you go out and come back, I'll have to warm you back up. Let's just stay toasty together. <laughs> A new rule? For what? No horror stories before bed. But babe, that's the best time. Okay, unless you're with me. I can get behind that. I thought it would be fun. And knowing me, I'll still probably do it again in a few weeks' time. You can't hide all the scary books. I guess you can try. But we're running out of space for books in general. I don't know where you would hide them. Unless you're planning on making... a secret bookshelf somewhere. Mm. Hiding them in the closet is a recipe for disaster. <laughs> it would be way worse. If I'm by myself at home, just clearing out my clothes, and I get hit in the head by a copy of The Exorcist or Poltergeist. <laughs> so please don't be hiding them in random places like that. No, baby, that wouldn't be funny. Promise me you won't try to scare me on purpose. You mean it? Okay, 
I won't read them by myself next time. I only did it tonight because I knew you were in here. In case I needed you to come save me. And then I remembered how tired you were. And that you might be deep in your sleep. You'd wake up. I'd rather not find out that way. No ghosts for me, thank you. I have enough to be worrying about. Yeah, I have to come clean about something. I ate the last cupcake that we were saving for breakfast tomorrow. I'm sorry. You don't mind? Hmm. I'll bake you some fresh muffins in the morning. Uh huh. I bought some blueberries. And I'm sure we still have some chocolate chips left from last time. We'll do half and half. If we make it through the night. <laughs> You'll protect me. Mm. All night long. All night long is a long time. Thank you, baby. Mm. I feel a lot better now. I have you watching over me as I sleep. And we have muffins to look forward to in the morning. Thank you. For always keeping me safe. Mm. Sweet dreams.